Hi everyone, this is Aya from Foya Neo and today I'm going to take you through building shapes. Um, so first thing we will be doing is using the create a new product option and this will open up a couple of shapes for us that we can use to custom build pretty much whatever we can imagine. So for today I am going to be building a wardrobe with a built-in study nook. So to get started I'll use the rectangle tool and just use it to cover the entire wall. I'll then go in with the focus more on the left hand side um, for the built in study nook. And I'll come in with the arch tool and just start right here, go across, and then create that arch shape. So I want to do the same thing a little bit lower, start there, and I want to measure from here as well, just so I can make sure I have the same size um, throughout. And again, a little bit lower as well, and this will be my final one. So all I have to do to line them up is just hover over the edge of the one on top and just drag my mouse down just like that and then go across and do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. So what I'll do from here is then come in with the pen tool and just go all the way down perfect so now i will so next thing i'll do is draw out the doors for the wardrobe and to make it easier instead of going in with the pen tool i will go in with the rectangle tool again start at the edge right here and build out my first one so i'm going to be putting in three the next one, I'll just start it from the edge of the other one, line it up just like that, and put in the last one. Perfect. So then from there, I do want to create a bit of um, a bit of difference for the door. So to do that, I'll just zoom in a little bit, go to the corner, and drag it out. I'll do the same thing in front of the next one, again with the rectangle tool and all the way to the top. And you can see how when I get to the top, it automatically lines it up for me. Great, so now I have the outline for everything that I want to be within this space. Um, I do also want the first two arches to be like built in shelves. So I will, for that purpose, go into the pen tool and just go across and do the same thing over here. So for the bottom one, I will be putting in two because this will be the desk for the study knock. Okay, perfect. Um, next, what I'll do is come into the push-pull tool and you can see that every shape on its own can be adjusted by itself. So what I'll do is pull out the edge, first of all,
I do want to bring in the doors. Give them that little bit of length. Get rid of that floor there. So I can adjust the height of this one just to even it out between them all. And the next thing I'll do is come in with the pen tool, just bring this all the way down. So that I can come back into push pull and get rid of that one there. What that will allow me to do is pull out this shelf, pull out the top arch, and pull this one out. Now, this one did become separate because the shelving was right on top of it. Just like that and I'll click on done so from here what I can do now is put hardware on the wardrobe doors I can then uh, go into my catalog uh, select furniture to go with the study nook that I have just built And then obviously in the texture tab as well, um, I can select what color I want this to be. I can change the texture of it. I will come into the texture tab and change the color. So maybe I want it to be this matte gray. So as you can see, um, because we do have each shape drawn out on its own, we can individually color each part. So I will leave those parts dark and then I will come into a beige color and use that for the rest. and use that for the rest. Um, I hope that this tutorial was helpful and happy design.